If you went ahead and researched many different platforms like WordPress, Wix, Framer, and even Webflow, and you started to think about that Webflow might be the right solution for you in 2025, well, this video is for you. My name is Arosh and I'm the founder and CEO of the Flow Ninja Studio. And over the past eight years, yes, as it's been a long time in a single platform, I went ahead and built more than 150 websites, scaled an agency to 50 plus people, and worked with some top brands like Opera.com, Checkout.com, and like even Webflow is our client. During that time, I think I've gathered enough experience to go ahead and record a video like this and show you some of the benefits and some of the disadvantages of Webflow you should know in 2025. Well, and why is choosing the right platform for your website that important? Well, I think in today's age, like, and according to some of the researches, like almost 91% of marketers report that they see a significant revenue change after focusing on their marketing website for a quarter or even a year. And just because of that, like, if you're focusing your marketing efforts on your website and and that's also gonna positively influence your business and you're gonna generate more revenue, I think you should choose the easiest platform and the platform with the most amount of flexibility that there is to go ahead and use to scale your business. So we've personally chosen Webflow over like the past eight years and like we're choosing it for like the next eight more because we strongly believe that it's the most versatile and the best platforms for like marketing websites and in general for businesses looking to scale. Why? Well, let's jump into that. The first part is just seeing who is using Webflow and kind of what benefits does it have. There are more than 300,000 customers using Webflow. And the interesting thing is like that Webflow is probably not good for you if you're a really small business, if you're a small freelancer or similar to that. Where it actually thrives is in the top 1% of websites. So you're gonna see like if you go to Built With or whatever you go online, that Webflow actually grows more and more into like big companies, into top 1% of websites, into companies who were maybe using previously Adobe Experience Manager, they were using headless solutions like WordPress, maybe even sometimes Contentful, Gatsby, or a kind of platform similar to that. And they're looking for an all-in-one solution that's gonna allow them to actually do more with their websites. And that's why I think it's great, because like if you plan to scale, if you plan to invest more into your website, like Webflow is gonna be a great platform and it's gonna unlock a lot of possibilities. And what are some of the benefits of that? Well, first is that Webflow is a no-code tool that is not actually hacking the way around code. How I like to explain it is some platforms they like to kind of build websites and create a way around you not knowing code to push out code and then in the end it, they create like websites which are not scalable they create like messy uh, infrastructure on the back end etc etc versus with Webflow like it actually follows the fundamentals of HTML CSS and JS and because of that whatever you build it's built in the same way like a front-end engineer has built it but you've built it faster so just because of the like overall philosophy of the platform itself that it approaches website building like anybody else would approach website building I, I think that allows you to go that much deeper into the website development and to make a lot more adjustments long term and to have as much design and development flexibility without using plugins. The next thing is speed and efficiency to deployment. Of course, it can be pretty custom, but on the other side, you also have page templates, you have components, like you have a really strong content management system and all those three things combined can ensure that like if you're a marketer, you can build pages quickly with templates, you can be, build pages quickly with components, or you can build pages quickly by leveraging the content management system and connecting it to the front end inside of Webflow. It's gonna give you a lot of flexibility there. Then in terms of SEO, I mean like we live off SEO. So like I, I guess we spend more than 100K per year on SEO alone. And like we use that like for R&D research and development so that we can uh, use all of those tactics back to our clients. And of course we do use Webflow. So, it's not gonna require any third-party plugins like Yoast or anything like that, that like WordPress or anything similar would require, but all of that is gonna be directly integrated into the platform and it's gonna allow you to kind of scale your websites to, to new heights. I mean, like our clients have like millions of views from SEO and it's possible to do something like that on Webflow. And then the final part is scalability and growing the business because Webflow is gonna have like the hosting, security and everything like that inside of the platform. You're not gonna have any headaches as you scale versus like if you use some of the other platforms as you scale, you might need to change a platform or you might need to change your hosting provider. It can become a little bit tricky okay, when it comes to that. On Webflow, everything is gonna be out of the box. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. I justify the cost, but some people might see, might say that Webflow is too expensive and uh, that's, that's their say to say and like that's, that, that's the real situation. But it's gonna come with uh, like a lot more benefits just because of that and just because everything is out of the box and everything is integrated inside of the platform. If you see trends for 
2025. I mean, of course, you always look trends at what's trendy in marketing and design and development. And Webflow, technically Webflow is following the trends and kind of is going into that direction. For example, they released Webflow Analytics and Optimize, and we're even using like Webflow Optimize on our own website, even if we're, uh, let's say, a smaller company. Because it's gonna allow you to do A-B tests, it's gonna allow you to do personalization with artificial intelligence, it's gonna allow you to optimize the traffic allocation with AI, and in general, uh, your website is gonna start working for you and it's gonna start doing optimizations it needs to start generating more revenue, which is really, really fun, and we're also gonna be recording a video on that topic. The next trend is like more and more people are figuring out how to maybe recover from the AI yeah. implementation yeah. and from like ChatGPT, yeah. Google Gemini, and all of that. And I feel like Webflow is like the perfect choice because you're gonna be able to build things much quicker and you're gonna be able to test many more things like when it comes to SEO. I mean, personally on our front, we use AI to get ideas, but we hand write everything on our own to ensure that uh, kind of we don't get in, into any Google problems in the end. But we've seen that like by leveraging Webflow, we started to get indexed by ChatGPT. So like if somebody searches for Webflow agencies and says, hey, give me the top 10 Webflow agencies, it's, ChatGPT is also gonna be another search way that people find our website and kind of go, go to our website in the end. So like if you're looking into, into that part, I guess ChatGPT also likes Webflow built websites and it's gonna start recommending them to users when they go through ChatGPT. And who should actually use Webflow? Webflow is great for some, but it's terrible for something else. So we need to be transparent around that. I mean, like first for marketing websites, if you have like a marketing website and you want to get, get gather customers and then kind of to grow, like it's great for something like that. If you're a product-led growth company, so sometimes we have companies which integrate their product into their website, uh, like uh, well, the product and website are becoming more and more of one. Webflow is also great for something like that because it's gonna allow you to write custom code. It's gonna allow you to add platform features inside of Webflow, maybe to recognize if, if user is logged in or not logged in, do a lot of custom stuff and connections with the like Webflow API and your platform's API in order to create a product-led website. Like if you wanna build a really complex portfolio and you wanna go above and beyond with that, it's gonna be great. It's gonna allow you to do many different things. That's what we're using to create our own agency website in the end. And it uh, allowed us to generate a lot of traffic, a lot of impressions, and in general, to generate like 20 to 40 leads per month just by leveraging our website. So I think in those three cases, like if you need a marketing website, if you need a portfolio slash agency website, or you have a product-led growth company, it's gonna be great. And where it's not gonna be the, like the best solution ever is if you have a really complex e-commerce store where honestly Webflow is not the best e-commerce solution. I mean like uh, it's better off that you use Webflow as a front-end headless solution and that you connect Shopify on the back end to be your e-commerce solution because Webflow has not been created like as an e-commerce first platform is better uh, called like a visual development platform and because of that i think if you have like a large e-commerce uh, store you should better off use shopify plus webflow then if you want to build a simple por portfolio like or if you're a non-developer or like non-designer like you're just starting out webflow might have a larger learning gap and for something like that honestly like even a tool like framer is going to be much better for you to get started and to create something pretty for somebody looking to create something really quickly really easy like webflow might not be the best solution. And the final part is large content websites. I want to say this in multiple ways because we have clients which have like 150, 200, 300,000 CMS items inside of Webflow and that is possible, but it's possible on the Webflow enterprise. And you just need to consider that like as you scale your business, like if you want to go into like a really crazy heights when it comes to scalability, you're going to start unlocking Webflow enterprise, which is great, but it's going to add additional costs, which you need to kind of consider as you're growing your business. And if we take a look at like the numbers from some of our clients, we see that after switching from like a headless solution over to Webflow, they save around 300,000 per year, just in kind of development costs. They reduce their time to market, so they're faster to market than anybody else. And they also increase the website speed. So those are some of the key metrics you can take a look at and like uh, the, that you can start expecting when you move to Webflow, like if you've been on any other platforms and you're looking for a migration in the end. So to call things off, is Webflow the right fit for you? Well, I would love to hear your comments down below and questions about Webflow as a platform. For me, I personally believe that if you're looking to scale, if you're looking to invest heavily into your marketing website, Webflow is gonna be a great fit for you. It's gonna come with a little bit of a steeper learning curve, but I think that learning curve is gonna be worth it for you to go ahead and go over 
and then use all of those advantages towards your marketing growth and towards growing your company's website. On the other side, if you're a smaller freelancer, if you're looking to build e-commerce websites, or if you wanna grow to like abnormal heights in the CMS, you need to know that Webflow might not be the best solution or that it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than you, you were expecting to. So you need to know to account for that in your budget. But apart from that, if you wanna learn more about Webflow and more about how we do things at Flow Ninja, go ahead and visit the link down below for some free resources for Webflow and you can learn a little bit more about Flow Ninja and Webflow as well.